This is Tara Carr with Tara Talks for KDIV 98.7 FM. I'm here with Austin Ashford, who wrote and will be performing in a play coming up soon, Island Trap. And Austin received a BA in English from Wiley College and is currently an MFA candidate for the U of A. So how are you doing today? I'm great. Awesome. Welcome to the studio, Austin. I'm so honored to be here. I'm Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We're glad to have you. So tell me a little bit about the play and where did you get the idea for Island Trap? I Island Trap. Okay, Island Trap actually started my first year as a grad student here. Um, I actually was a great debater at Wiley College from oh, the wow. movie The Great Debaters. Yes, love that movie. I performed for Denzel Washington. He wrote my letter of recommendation. What? Now I'm at U of A acting. But I was actually a, a poet. So when we were taking the class at U of A, I was writing these pieces. We had an adaptation class. And they are like, well, Austin, how does this piece connect to historical text? And I was like, uh, I'm just rapping and doing poetry <laughs> right now. I don't know. And then out of nowhere, I... Um, I was like, uh, epic poem? Because I was an English major. I was sure. like, Homer. Sure. But my issue was, I was like, uh, that doesn't fit with my style, so how are we going to... And then we we, we found a really cool way to uh, rearrange the story and make it for us. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, an island trap is described as like a black Ulysses. Yes. Um, so why do you think it's so important to take stories that have been told from a white perspective traditionally yeah. and to frame it through the lens of the black perspective? Why do you think that's important? First, I got to give you one of these. Okay. <laughs> because even when I was an English major, I'd get so frustrated with the American canon of literature. Mm -hmm. Because we don't exist in it. And yeah. the pieces that we do have, even when they, someone tries to bring up an August Wilson, it's like... A less than in yeah. some weird way. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, I, w I want us to be able to identify ourselves in American canon stuff. Like mm -hmm. the story of the Odyssey is somebody who loyal to the journey, family, yeah. goes on a journey, wants to come home. How come we can't see ourselves yeah. in that? Yeah. But the but the way that it's told, like epic, I am big, and we don't like that. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we like rhythm, we like poetry, we so I felt like it'd be perfect. I love that. And just tell me, Austin, how'd you get into acting? Uh, that weird story. I did speech and debate. For 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was a speech and debate nerd. Love it. I got made fun of for putting on suits on the <laughs> and weekend. And the movie The Great Debaters came out. Mm. And my coach, high school coach, was like, You should you should go over there. The coach called me. I was on the team for four years. And then they were like, Oh, you guys are gonna finally meet Denzel. So I was like, No, we're not. We're not we're not gonna meet the the greatest. Book of Eli? Right. Like we're not Book and then he showed up when we won nationals because uh, the HBCU I went to was Wiley College mm -hmm. and it's the first HBCU to ever win a national championship. Yeah. So he showed up. He bought us championship rings. We performed, or I, I performed a speech for him. Then he said, he said, what is that? You need to act. What is this? What is this? And then he wrote a letter of recommendation. I'm said, sorry, well, wait. Done. Denzel Washington said you need to act. Denzel Washington told me I need to act. He told me to audition for grad school, and he said, when I get out, contact... Now, I don't think he really mean, like, contact me right <laughs> now. I'm going to try. I don't even know right. how to contact him, but... That's awesome. I was like, if you say it, you got to try it. He sees something in you. That's awesome. So, as a black actor, what is the theater world like in Fayetteville? Uh, I will say that I feel like I, I've been able to be blessed and highly favored in my situation, mm -hmm. Because I came through the university that I've, I've had opportunities at Theater Square. Yeah. So I got to be in like All the Way. I just finished The Champion Love. with Amy Evans. That's a awesome. black woman wrote it, a black woman stage manager, and a black woman had the lead. That's awesome. <laughs> Fayetteville, Bill Arkansas, right. come around. <laughs> um, but I will say that, unfortunately, this city doesn't do a lot of pieces that allow the black experience or the black audience yeah. to allow theater. And there's not a lot of roles for like... You know, actors, like if somebody's regular in the city, I don't think they have as many opportunities to try to do that much. So I try to recognize I'm very privileged in having the opportunities to do stuff like that. Sure. Um, I'd, I'd like to see more, but Fayetteville's moving so like rapidly and Absolutely. fast, even though I'm new here, that I think opportunities might arise. Absolutely. So who or what are your top five actors, movies, or plays? Now this gets difficult. I can't. First off, best movie of all time is Crash. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> Crash is the agree. best movie of all time. She just showed me some love. Oh, you yes. know what I'm saying? Crash, best movie of all time. Um, play. I recently watched Motown the Musical right here awesome. at the Walton Art okay. Center. Okay. And that was actually the first musical I've ever seen. So I'm watching these people and I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Uh, Marvin Gaye, you killed it. Uh, uh, the person who did Diana Ross, whoa. I didn't even know Barry Gordy sang in real life, but I like this. Um, now, when we get to the actors, 
Shout out to Viola Davis. Okay. That's Shout out to you. Angela Bassett. Four, you got one more. Uh, 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 I'm gonna switch to the actors because I still gotta, I still gotta, I, I have to shout out Sidney Portier. I gotta yeah. shout out Denzel, yeah. uh, Jamie Fox, Will Smith. Uh, 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 and I want to throw Jennifer Lewis out there, but I'm, I'm doing too much. Sure. <laughs> All right, I gave you a few extras. All right, so let's talk a little bit more, and maybe not so fun topic, but the, okay. with the political and social issues oh, yeah. that the climate that we are in right now, how do you think that affects or even impacts? theater or specifically yourself as an actor um and this is where it gets on the dark side stuff that's going on with weinstein and spacey let's talk about it yeah. um i think as an actor devala davis said it great we we create human beings now the the typical thing about being affected is like when real issues happen, we're, th- we're lucky enough in theater to like do a play or talk about it and fill and stuff. Mm-hmm. But people who aren't in theater have, I don't want to say privilege, but they could narrow themselves to not have to deal yeah. with a lot of issues. So when things come up in like society or politics, I'm like, yeah, no. The way that women are treated are horrible. Yeah. Yes. The way that homosexuality and homophobia is going is horrible. Yeah. Blacks, yes. But I'm like, it's kind of the unfortunate thing is it's preaching to the choir sometimes yeah. and not getting to people who I think need it. Yeah. But the beautiful thing about acting is I think it allows... For me, I've been able to learn just to feel more and be yeah. empathetic yeah. with all the stuff happening. Well, it's easy to be apathetic with, like, bombs and you know, all of that stuff. So that, that's how I feel about okay. it. Okay. So how, two things, how can our listeners purchase tickets for this show, Island Trap? And then also, how can they follow you? The beautiful thing is the show's three ninety nine. dollars What? That's my favorite price. <laughs> now, it's first come, first serve. Okay. Seats are limited, so if you come when the doors open, that would be best. Okay. If you want to follow me, that's Austin Dean Ashford, Instagram or Facebook. Okay. Um, it's going to be a great show. Love Some it. people got to slide through. Love it. So, tell me, what's next? What's after Island Trap for you? Um, actually, the next week, I'll be doing a new one-person show. Oh, and it's called The Great Speakers, which is a flip off of The Great Debaters. <laughs> awesome. So could you possibly just give us a snippet, a little taste of your performance? You would never would ask. you please? Don't mess with my spirit. Yeah. You can't touch my soul, no. I was born to don't get it, get it. I was born to don't get it, get it. Woo, there it is, yeah. See, I'm about to go in. I got the, I got the. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta let them, you know, get a taste. Be on just the 28th. A taste. <laughs> let them actually come. All right, and so that is going to be Island Trap, and it'll be performed at the University of Arkansas in Kemple Hall in the Studio Theater 404. Doors open at 7 p.m. The show starts at 7:30. Again, Tuesday, November 28th. You don't want to miss this, Austin Ashford. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for your having time. me. Of course, this is Tara Carr with Tara Talks KDIV 98.7 FM. The voice of diversity, the voice of the city.